Hello, hello, Trap Monsters. Welcome to another fun video with me, Pharaoh's Kid. And uh, today we are going to look at learning how to make a Oliver Francis type beat. Uh, which is borderline lo-fi rap music. I don't even know how to really classify his style because it's a very unique style and I think, I think it works for him. And I think that a lot of rappers always just uh, leave it out because they think that, oh well, you know it's not hype or whatever but I feel like there's there's still something hype to the type of music that he makes so um, I, I think you just gotta find it in there so uh, I'm gonna play the, the full beat and then I'm gonna break down uh, everything that was did in this beat cool beautiful Again, like I said, it's just got a very unique style, um, and it's borderline lo-fi rap music, in my opinion. Um, but you know, Lord knows that you know that may not always be the case. So, um, you know, let's get started on how to break it down. So the first things first, you got to get this the, the main sample. Um, <clears throat> I started with this. This is the sample. So that's the main sample, <clears throat> and uh, I actually cut this one personally. I didn't find the sample pack. I mean, I found the song in the sample pack, but I just didn't cut it. Uh, it wasn't pre-cut. I cut it myself, <clears throat> and uh, it was in a special delivery. Uh, producer grind. You can get over there. <coughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not getting paid for this. So I just really like the. 
I'm just a big fan. Um, and the song that I used for this was Brainstorm, This Must Be Heaven. And uh, I'll actually play you the part um, that I used. So, here. Nice little sample, and it was really pretty. So I was like, "Yeah, definitely, we're gonna use that." So <coughs> the way I make it sound, the sample, the way I make the sample sound the way it does, is that what I did was I put gross beat on it. Now the thing about gross, the, the one I used was eight, but the, instead of it having the normal eight, what I did was I will show you. Instead of having the normal eight, what I did was. Went to basic eight, and I just deleted that last dot. Deleted it, and that's when it gave it its little slow, lo-fi-ish feel. Um, and the thing about it is, when you make lo-fi, you kind of want it to be something like you can live life to. Like it's just like something like you just sit down, make you think. You know, think about all the like choices and decisions that you really made. Um, consequently, because it is a sample, a lot of times the sample will have a lot of low end under it, and since the low end was beating on it like it was just hurting uh, the whole song, I ended up having to cut at least it majority off. I didn't cut it all the way off, but I gave it enough so this way you could still feel like you know <clears throat> it's you know I, I don't need it to be there you know. See how it sounds flat, but not too flat. That's kind of where I was going with that. Um, you know, it's one of those samples that really is just—it's just supposed to give that you got to bring to life yourself. And I've noticed that, especially with a lot of horns, if a sample has a lot of horns in it, you kind of got to do a lot to it, and it makes it—it it, it, you know—you want to get deep inside what you could do to it. Now, <clears throat> I put the song at 150, but what I've learned is <clears throat> as I keep going um, and as I keep progressing with the song, I could drop it at any point. And that's one of the great best things about lo-fi. You can do so much to it. I could throw this thing at 140 and it, could, it still sounds amazing, you know. Sounds great there. I could drop it into 130. Here it goes. You know, hell, I could drop it at <clears throat> 120. I mean, this you could do it at any point, at any uh, any really reasonable BPM. <clears throat> I think because I was just in a mood for something fast, I put it at 150. But in actuality, I don't have to necessarily just do it that way, you know. I don't need to do it at 150. Um, I just thought that for this particular moment, I was, as I was making it, I did it at 150. But like I said, any you could drop this down and it would still sound really nice. So, I really didn't do anything crazy on this track. Um, because it's not really needed. You know, it's a song more so about the sample. <clears throat> now, 
I know I made a video on making your hats interesting, and I always stand by that, but I should have said with an asterisk, some songs you don't necessarily need to have crazy hats. Now, I will do this. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm getting over a cold. So I changed a little bit for you, um, but yeah, I you know sometimes it's okay to not necessarily always have it into a roll or 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 just straight nut nutty, you know. Especially with songs like this, you want to necessarily just be itself. You want to be organic, and I get you don't want to focus too much on the drum part of the song. You also want to show there is more to the song than just the drums. <clears throat> so that's why I really didn't make it super crazy. You know, I didn't make my 808s sound, you know lift up super high and all this extra stuff because it's kind of I want you to really embrace the sample of itself and the vibe that I'm giving off instead of you know how crazy it goes uh, and it's just it's a song that you should it's when you make lo-fi or Oliver Francis type beat you want to definitely feel it it's one of those things you gotta gotta feel or you're not gonna really make it correctly or properly so, my kick pattern, a uh, little, very, uh, very simple, you know, nothing too crazy. This is this kick pattern right here. I kind of put that this part in there just to be, you know, just to still put my signature on it. But for the most part, it's a simple. It's a simple. It's not. It's like a feel, still a vibe to it, and that's kind of how I kept it. I didn't really want to make it nothing crazy. It's still got to have its own like feel and its own flavor to it. But you don't want it to be something crazy because it's like I want, <clears throat> I want whoever raps on this or whoever listens to this. I want them to have a feeling and I want them to have a vibe and I want to keep up the vibe. So you don't really need to go super nutty with stuff like that. Snare pattern, same thing. Nothing new. Now, yes, I used a chain snare, um, obviously. I used a lot of chain snares. This one I actually didn't make. Normally, I do make my own chain snares, but this time I was kind of, I was a little bit lazier today. So, uh, or, yeah, yeah, today, I guess. Maybe earlier. Um, I was lazier, so I was like, you know, well, use somebody else's. But for the most part, it's not hard to make a chain snare, and I think we'll talk about that in another video, uh, how to make a good chain snare. Um, and all it really is just layering it with whatever you want on it. But we'll we'll talk about that uh, on another video. Um, that's the eight away pattern. Eight away pattern kind of follows the kick pattern. You know, still something there. Um, <clears throat> what I did do is to the kick and to the eight away. I still made them put Maximus on it. Uh, I still put like a little pop to it because at the end of the day, it's still it's still part of the song, and you still want it to sound good. So I did put Maximus on it, put Kick Pump and uh, Punchy Drums on it. So you know I'm still here, it's still me, guys. I promise. Um, hat wise, uh, open hat wise, it's the uh, it's just a normal vibe. Simple vibe. Now, <clears throat> the thing that I think puts this song together is the percussions. You don't really hear the percussions because they're so low, but I kind of kept it that way because I wanted it to not, it's supposed to just give it its own little feel to it. These are percussions. See, it's nothing complicated, but it just, it works so well, you know? So, I mean, here's it all together. I mean, 
mean the the you know the the percussion just brings it that little atm that little uh vibe that gives you like you really wants to think about it you know it's got a lot of reverb on it <clears throat> I put a hell of a lot of reverb on it As a matter of fact I'll show it to you um a lot of times when I'm doing um what I'm doing stuff like that doing stuff like uh um like something that's very atmospheric. I use Fruity Reverb and I use Cathedral. I think Cathedral is one of the best one of the best presets they have on there. Um, simply because when you want to put something very atmospheric, it gives it the perfect amount of atmosphere in it. But you gotta turn it down because if you don't have it too if it's too loud, it sounds gross. But when you turn it down and it's on something that, that can be turned down and that's just supposed to be in the background. It's perfect. It's supposed to be it's great. And I think it's the best, one of the best preset on, uh, I think it is the best preset on Fruity Reverb 2. But again, that's just my personal opinion. This is not, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, a PhD. I don't have a PhD in FL Studio. But uh, definitely. <clears throat> like I said, when you make music like this, you want to make sure you want to give it an atmospheric thought. Now, what I didn't do, this beat is not completely done either. Um, but I just want to show you, I guess, the the, the basics of the template that I'm going off of uh, when I when I finish this whole beat. Um, you want to put the reverb on it too. Now this is another version, this is another time where I would say play with Cathedral. You know, you don't necessarily have to stick with it, but I think it would be helpful. So let's see, let's see what it sounds like with the Cathedral on. See, and that's what I'm saying. It sounds really nice. It doesn't sound. It sounds as atmospheric as I really need it to be. Um, and that's the thing. A lot of times, you know, people don't want to admit the fact that it's important that you have a atmospheric lead. Um, a lot of people don't like really putting a lot of or a lot of reverb on their lead. But I feel like you know you're taking away. From really what you really made, when it, especially when it comes to stuff like lo-fi, and heck, even sometimes when you make cloud rap music, you kind of have to use the, you know, the, a lot of reverb to make it seem like it's, you know, you're actually you're actually in, uh, in like your own atmosphere, your own space. Uh, believe it or not, it's it's one of those things that you kind of will learn uh, to enjoy about music, about your music, especially if you use, uh, do a lot of, uh, beats, or a lot of, uh, or a lot of, um, songs that require a, a vibe or a, or a special thought process that, 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 that the artist is trying to get to. Get that your music, your beats are still yours, but you still want to at least try to cater to those who might be interested in something of that nature. The fact of the matter is, we still have, you know, especially when we want a rapper to be on our things, we still want to at least think about them in the final product. Um, with this particular beat, again, like I said, it's not totally done, but it's still, I could go off from this and I could make something that it feel that, that feels like something totally atmospheric, totally loving, warm, you know, it's a lot to it, so, um, I just want to show you guys that for right now, um, definitely I'll come back to this, and we'll, we can talk more about it when, before, when the final product is done, um, if you have any questions about the beat, put it in the comment section, let me know how, it, what, you know, what you got questions for, also comment in the section, see which BPM you like better, this BPM, could, this song could be in from 150 all the way down to 90, it, sound, it sounds really good, so just, Definitely let me know, and, uh, you know, definitely check out Trap Monsters uh, TV, uh, trapmonsters.com, uh, for all you, all you drum kits. Drum kit is still working. I want to make sure that this drum kit is perfect, seeing how this is my first one. So I want to make sure that this is something that you guys could all enjoy, and see how you guys can, you know, benefit from. I don't want to just put out a product, 
that's just not really that good. So I'm definitely going to be working hard on this. Uh, for those of you who uh, don't know, uh, we are working on something big for Trap Monsters. And I hope you guys are all around to see it. And I will hope the day ones will definitely be able to ride this wave with us. Uh, in the meantime, Pharaoh's Kid about to sign out. I'll take, you, say, uh, take it easy. See you guys later. Peace.